What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. Before we get started, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading and hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience also. If you like the music that you hear, the distro kit link is in the description. Support your boy, support the music. On the road to 25K subs by New Year's. Let's get it. All right, so today I am going to be reacting to a clip that was sent by a subscriber. And it is from a content creator that I am familiar with. Um, Olivia Alexia, I believe her name is. And, oh, I'm sorry, Olivia Alexa. Yeah, she's actually been um, in the game for a while. Um, she's married and she, I think she kind of like took a break, but it seems like she kind of been popping back up doing e uploads here and there. And this one, she snapped. When I say, I'm like, this was one of the reasons why I was a fan of her when I first got onto this space. Like she, she gave it to him straight, no chasing. And then she brings up um, another and then she brings up um, a clip that somebody has sent her that I actually was able to find myself so that way I can um, connect um, what she's referencing to. All right, so pay attention. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so this is something that stays on my mind, so I'm ranting. I hate when I hear women say, I don't need a man, but then portray actions completely contradictory to that. Bruh. Don't say you don't need a man and then turn around and do things to try to get the attention of the same men you just said you don't need. See, one of my pet peeves in life is attention whores. I hate it with a passion when I see someone doing something solely for attention because that's a major character flaw. And it says a lot about that person. You can't say you don't need a man and then post thirst trap pictures for them. You can't say you don't need a man, but constantly seek validation from them. You can't say you don't need a man, but then always compete with other women for them. You can't say you don't need a man when most of y'all build your entire self-esteem and self-worth off of how many men acknowledge you. And wealth. Thanks to OnlyFans. Let's keep it moving every single social media platform that's your instagram your facebook your tiktok originally started out as authentic platforms for genuine connections and fun until low self-esteem women decided to use it to put themselves on display as advertisements for the attention of men all while doing this under the guise of self-liberation that's a cop out for one to do what you want to do without the repercussions and backlash of it because if you attach a movement to it then it makes it more justifiable i'm gonna give you guys an example somebody sent me a, a video of a woman who received a brand deal for clothing and decided to promote the brand by making an instagram post of her wearing the brand's clothes bent over with her ass all in the camera. You stupid. The company then cut her deal because she didn't represent them in the correct, respectful manner. You lose. She then got the nerve to get mad and then make a video trashing the company talking about women's rights and about how women should be treated equally and not like pieces of meat. You can't make this shit up. Do you know how delusional that sounds? It's like the women who say, I could be half naked and twerking, but if you view me in a sexual light, there's something wrong with you. Now, pay attention to what she just said. That last part. Now, check this clip. I'd like to take a minute to discuss the harsh reality that black content creators face. I recently lost out on a five figure brand deal for posting this picture with this caption. Nowhere in the contract were there any stipulations given around what kind of content I could post, except for the branded content, which would be approved by the company. As for my personal content, nothing was said. After posting that picture and posting that caption, I received a phone call from my agent saying that the company thought it was inappropriate. And I just want to take a second to unpack that. When I read that caption, I read a playful articulation of the love I have for my man. It's been generally agreed upon by the black community for decades that the N-word isn't derogatory, it's a term of endearment. And that brings us to the photo. Yet again, when I look at this picture, I see playfulness. I see a black girl living her best life, having fun. What is that? There's nothing inappropriate about it to me, especially not in the world we live in today. 
For centuries, black women's bodies have been scrutinized, they've been picked apart, they've been deemed unworthy, they've been deemed inappropriate, and this is yet again an extension of that rhetoric. It's the hypersexualization of the black female body which has led to this very conversation. The only way someone else could deem this as inappropriate is if they projected their sexual desires onto me. What? You stupid. You must unlearn what you have learned. See what I mean? That's why I stopped it. Where Olivia's, um, well, well, at the at the end where Olivia said it at. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it, fellas. The narcissism is, it's become part of their programming so much that they do it unconsciously. They they really, they really believe this. Like they, it really makes sense to them. You must unlearn. It's scary, ain't it? Have I'm gonna I'm I'm let her play the rest of this out. Or if they projected their underlying judgments onto me, which is what we call prejudice. Now, typically I would brush that off and say, that's a you problem, but it becomes a me problem because it threatens my livelihood. Just the same way these systems of oppression have threatened the livelihood of black women for centuries. Furthermore, you want access to my audience, which is mostly black women, without actually having a full appreciation for black culture. Why is it that what's considered appropriate or professional is always adjacent to whiteness? You want the activist part of me that's articulate and intelligent, but that's just one side of my black girl magic. What is that? The other side of me knows how to turn up and throw this ass. Bruh. And that's what I'm gonna do. We don't have to separate who we are in order to please these companies. We don't have to erase or hide any aspect of our personality in order to get these bags. If you can't handle me at my back that ass up, you don't deserve me at my I have a dream. You stupid. Finish her. Fatality. You lose. Let's keep it moving, man. If you sexualize me, it's your projection. You're projecting your lust onto me. Not the cow. That's the most narcissistic shit I've ever heard. I want to be able to do whatever the f I want to do, right or wrong, and then blame you for it, but at the same time, hold on to the idea that I don't need you. But the real world doesn't work like that. You have to teach people how to treat you by how you treat yourself. And if you're treating yourself and portraying yourself like a hoe, you will be treated accordingly by the same men you claim you don't need. It's not rocket science. It's common sense that's not so common. Yeah, it's um, definitely scarce nowadays. Oh my goodness, man. This right here. This is what I mean when I said black women black women are the most bothered, unbothered women on the planet. This falls right in line with that. I don't want I don't want the attention, but every all your actions and everything that you do on social media says otherwise. Emotional damage. I don't need a man, but all you do is complain on social media on how you want a man to pay your bills. And how you want and how you want a man to take you out and buy you this and take you here and do this with you bro walking contradictions i'm telling you bro I'm like these women gonna make me do a part two on that seriously see man this is one of the reasons why i'm not so big on social media man as much as you guys get on me about being on social media more this is one of the main reasons why because this is all I see on social media, man. And it's, it's gotten annoying. It's gotten kind of old. You know what I mean? That was one of the reasons why I made that video about OnlyFans. Because when that girl messaged me talking about content ideas, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I was kind of pissed off. You know what I mean? I, I mean? I mean, I wanted to hit her with the... These nuts! How dare you! You feel me? Because in my mind, I'm thinking to myself, like, who do you think I am? Like, I am not a simp. Nope. But yeah, man, the narcissism is has run amok, and it's it's crazy, bro. It's it's like it's literally like like they um, like I told you, man. They're doing it unconsciously, man. It's like they don't even know they're doing it. Bro. Like this is this is normal behavior. It's scary as hell. Y'all, let me know what y'all think about this, man. All right. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. And hit the like button. 
because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.